Good evening, all. We must defeat this virus, the deadly coronavirus. It is the worst thing this country has faced since KFC ran out of chicken. Now that was pretty bad. The death rates are quite high. I cannot specify how high or how low, but I can tell you that they are higher than low, but lower than too high. We have put together a plan of action that we must all take part in. It is a three-stage plan to defeat this coronavirus. Number one, assess the situation. What is the threat? The threat is the coronavirus. Phase two, defeating the threat, that is the coronavirus or COVID-19. This will be done using initiatives, plans and strategy, which may take a short time or a long time, and it will be implemented in a number of ways. The important thing is that this is an extremely important message. I hope my words have brought clarity and reassurance to you all, and the slogan will now be changed. It is now virus bad, vote Tory. I can't think of a th M Matt, M Matt, I, I can't think of a third ca Oh, oh, Johnny, gosh, that's brilliant. Virus bad, vote Tory, and stay alert. Thank you. Man, all this effort just for one skit. I'm out here, I'm doing too much. You're all sleeping on me, I'm doing too much. So I want to complain about the coronavirus and lockdown but, it, but it's not the sort of complaint that you think it is I've, I've made an actual like structured rant about this on my phone I'm gonna bring it up because I can't just ramble on because I'll just be chatting nonsense at some point or another okay I'm gonna read this out right so what's really been pissing me off lately is people especially celebrities and influencers saying how hard it is in lockdown oh don't worry guys I know it's extremely difficult right now but hold on we'll get through it together like me, they're not exactly asking you to cure the virus yourself. They're not exactly asking for much, you're making it sound like a massive sacrifice. Yes, it's a minor inconvenience, and if it does impact your life significantly, then it is understandable, but come on. I know this doesn't just apply to lockdown, but right now, there are so many people living in worse living conditions than you right now. I mean, you're watching this on YouTube, right? So you've got access to the internet, you've got access to entertainment, probably Netflix. You're fine. Some people don't have a home to stay on or basic food and what. And yes, I know I'm being that guy who's like, oh, but what about the kids in Africa? But like, I, like this is actually something that I, like, this is a genuine opinion of mine, right? I hate when people are too dramatic or complain about the smallest things. Yeah, it's okay to rant from time to time or be mad about small things that are, you know, trivial and sometimes insignificant. That's okay. But when you push it, when you push it too far, you're forgetting the people who have real struggles. I don't see why people are making this out to be such a huge deal and dramatising it to be way worse than it is. Staying indoors isn't that hard. Oh no, I'm always bored and I have nothing to do. Well, same. But think about it, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. The whole world is literally on pause right now. You could try out something that you've never been able to try because you haven't had the time or the resources. Or th this is literally the perfect time as long as it involves sitting indoors. Uh, I'm using it to bash YouTube content like this and uh, well, waste away my life playing video games too fair. But I am just chilling, I'm chilling, right? Okay, I know this is gonna be an unpopular opinion. A lot of people are saying, oh, I want lockdown to be over. I wanna go out and meet everyone and do everything. And oh, I'm sick of staying indoors. I don't know about you, but I'm loving it, right? I am loving it. I when else would you be able to spend every day for two months straight waking up whenever you want going to bed whenever you want do being able to do literally nothing all day uh, unless you work from home or have school work but i mean you know that's that's a minor inconvenience because if you're like me you just shove all the school work till the day the teachers ask to see it and uh, you're fine but at the end of the day, this rant isn't about me. This rant is about the people who act all high and mighty as if they deserve some grand reward for this extremely difficult task of not going outside. There are so many people this is affecting a lot worse. Imagine people suffering, you know, domestic violence or 
not enough income to support the family or from losing a job maybe or actually losing family to the virus and if you are one of the people being severely affected like that obviously I empathize completely and it's a different situation because it is actually something serious right it's got weight behind it it's not someone petty that people are dramatizing like oh I can't meet so and so friend I can't meet my boyfriend girlfriend okay there are people with having actual issues and actual problems because of this virus and you are just completely belittling them I say you like I'm talking to the people that I'm ratting, ratting about so not not exactly you but and I see so so many people right on social media every day ranting about how people are breaking uh, social distancing and lockdown rules to see the family and friends this rant sort of ties into that it's it's related strongly related but it was more about people who think oh woe is me i've got to stay indoors all day when i could be outside look at me you know having such a hard life like sure <laughs> 